Noah, thank you very much for that suggestion. I don't know where you said this, but at one point I thought you said you had the BPHS-1 and you were getting bad sound that was very lacking in body. So what I did, I recorded a quick sample with my BPHS-1 headset microphone and I recorded a tutorial of me EQing it, showing you the process about how I go through it, showing you the before, showing you the after, and here it is. Hopefully it helps you, Noah. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, so I have two tracks here, the first one being the sample that I recorded with the BPHS-1, the second one being an audio sample from the microphone I'm using right now. I'm going to use that as a baseline to see how I am doing with the processing, albeit the microphone that I am using right now does have a bunch of processing other than EQ, but I'm going to use that as a baseline. So let me play the BPHS-1 for you really quickly. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. First thing you'll notice is the complete lack of body in the low end. So I will continue to play this audio sample and I will start to add some low end to it. I will use a low shelf to start off. So let me play it. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BP. And I will add a low shelf. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. So I hear nothing I when I'm boosting it at around 75 hertz. So I will increase the frequency that I'm boosting it at. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS. Right there, a 10 decibel low shelf at around 240 hertz really adds a lot of that body that the headset microphone is lacking. So I'll play it with and without that boost again. Okay, so right now I am speaking this is without. into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. This I is am with. running this directly into my Focusrite 18i20. Huge improvement. Now, something I always do is add a high pass. So I will go ahead and add a high pass around 50 hertz because we don't really need anything below 50 hertz. There's no useful information. All that will do is add mud to the recording. So this is with the high pass at 50 hertz and the low shelf at 240 with a 10 dB boost. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica B. Something else I think this needs is a little bit of clarity. So we will do a high shelf here. So I will go ahead and add that while I play the sample. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. I am running this directly into my Focusrite 18i20. My gain is set just shy of 100%. I am just recording for me. Okay, so I think that's actually pretty good. Now let me compare this to the Telefunken recording so we can compare how those sound. The Telefunken TF-47 running through a bunch of processing. Okay, so right now I am speaking in... Okay, so it's pretty good. It's a huge improvement over what it was, but I still hear a little bit of nasal tones to this, probably because of my voice, so I will show you how I would cut those out. First, I am going to use a notch, a really narrow EQ bump, and I will boost this quite a bit. I know exactly the tone that I'm listening for. It is this obnoxious eh, 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 type sound. So let me go ahead and turn that off. I'll start playing it. Okay, so right now I am speaking I apologize into for this. the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. I am running this directly into my Focusrite 18i20. My gain is set just shy of one. Right there around 980 to maybe 1000 hertz, I hear some nasty sounds. So, Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. I am running this directly into my Focusrite 18i20. My gain is set just shy of 100%. I am just recording for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, so I have a good audio sample that I'm... Okay, so I actually think that EQ sounds pretty nice, so I will go ahead and one last time, I suppose I should tell you what I did there. I did an eight, at 800 hertz, I did a negative 6 dB cut, with a Q of 
So it's kind of a wide Q. It's kind of cutting a lot of frequencies between 800 and 1000, but that's where it sounded best. And it's going to be different for everybody's voice, but now I will play with and without the EQ so you can hear the difference that was made. First without, then I will click it on. Okay, so right now I am speaking into the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. I am running this directly into my Focusrite 18i20. My gain is set just shy of 100%. I am just... So there you have it. I think that was a huge, huge, huge improvement over the raw audio from the BPHS-1. Adds that body to it. Adds some nice clarity and openness to the top end and cuts out a little bit of those nasal frequencies in the midsection. So let me know what you thought of that. You can send me an email, askbander at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment on the YouTube video. There you go. Wow, all right, that's how you EQ. Noah, I hope that helped you a lot. I hope that helps you get better sound and more full of a sound because I know the headset microphones can be quite lacking in the oomph doesn't have the same balls that a, a large diaphragm dynamic or a large diaphragm condenser has. So hopefully helps get there. Great question.